All right. Well, Joe is coming back, but we're going to have to say goodbye to John after tonight. It's been a pleasure working with well, you Well, thank you for allowing me back into the uh, Twin Tiers. Anytime. Now do the weather. <laughs> that's all you got? <laughs> that's all I got. I thought there was gifts. All right. Uh, here's my gift to you as we leave the seven-day forecast, and you'll see that in just a few moments. Although, we got some decent days out there. Light sweater activity, light uh, jacket activity, and sunglasses. Uh, nighttime still a little frigid for us out there. Still some cold nights with temperatures into the 20s. Wasn't a record breaker or a tire last night. Super Saturday, though. You got some plans outdoors. Go ahead and do them. You want to... Throw the baseball around, maybe uh, do, I don't know if you can plant. I don't know if it's too early to plant out there, but nonetheless, you can at least clean up the yard, and we do have a wet week ahead. Show you that in a second. Big picture is the big high-pressure system. You can see it right here, Pennsylvania, Ohio, down into uh, Kentucky and uh, parts of Indiana as well. Yes, know my geography. Things are looking pretty good. A little disturbance trying to move on through the Great Lakes. This is what brought us uh, possibly some cooler temperatures to some areas for today. And maybe just a little flurry in the central parts of New York. Other than that, we should be okay, nice and dry. Just a few clouds scattered about our region. You can see here things looking very nicely for the most part. And so uh, we'll see some clouds on the overnight. Thicken on up and dissipate as high pressure moves on back. Temperatures into the 40s, generally across the uh, state of New York and uh, the great state of Pennsylvania as well. Our region hovering around 50, 48 degrees out into uh, places like Ithaca and even here in towards Elmira. Next 24 hours or so, you'll see temperatures dip down into the 20s once again. Cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine for tomorrow. Then late in the day, we'll see some clouds increasing and it will be nice and dry. Here's your future track showing your weather for tomorrow and beyond. You can see here some clearing skies. That, of course, good news, and we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's what's going to bring us some rain showers as we head on into Sunday, but for the next 24 to 36 hours, well, you should stay nice and dry, and things looking very nice for us, as we can see into Sunday morning or so. Could just see a shower on and off throughout the day. Don't see it to be a gully washer, but nonetheless, you still should see some showers, and they'll last in for the next couple of days. Forecasted high 50, actual high was 52. Scott knows I was debating about going 52 yesterday, and I should have. Just should have. Take a look at these temperatures on the overnight. You'll see temperatures into the 20s, generally across the area from the northern tier, where there is a red flag uh, a warning in effect till 8 p.m. tonight. And as you can see here, into the southern tier temperatures into the 20s generally and we'll see some clouds and maybe a stray little flurry up into the finger lakes here's your seven day forecast saturday 54 with a mixture of sun and clouds then we'll see rain showers 60 for your sunday 62 degrees when joe comes back and it looks like rain showers through the week